Hello and welcome to the Stretch Yourself Podcast. This is the show for entrepreneurs and people that are all about staying focused and engaging on proving their relationships in business and in life. And on this episode, have you ever struggled with your emotions or some physical pain that has not allowed you to stay focused and consistent in your actions in life? Well, that's exactly what we're going to help you with on this week's episode, where you're going to have learn how to work through emotional stress, physical pain, so that you can intentionally thrive and succeed in your relationships in business and in life. I would like to welcome Jana Partain. She's a holistic practitioner that helps people work through their emotional stress and their physical pains so that they can intentionally thrive and succeed in their relationships. Welcome to the show, Jana. Hi. Hey, how are you Thank doing? You. And where are you from? I am in Texas. Okay, great. How's the weather down there? It's cold. Oh my gosh. I think it's like uh, 38 degrees. Okay. Great, great. But it's supposed to be 80 tomorrow, so gotta love it. Okay. Yes, the weather does have Tourette's, so we gotta be looking forward to those up and down states, especially during these winter months, these autumn months that are coming through. So I just wanted to start talking briefly about you, a little bit about your background. So tell me about what you do. You know, that's a great question, and I get asked that quite a bit. So I'm a holistic practitioner that takes an intuitive aspect of looking at the body and looking at the emotional aspect that we have trouble dealing with. What I've found is that our bodies store emotions and take physical pain, much stress and anxiety manifest and I just look at that and look at how we hold on to it and then work with the body to find the easiest way to let it go okay allowing you to thrive okay great great well I know that's what you do because I've had the great opportunity and experience to meeting you and people are not going to believe the fortunate way that I was able to meet you. We actually contacted each other on LinkedIn where you contacted me and you had some great intuitive messages that came um, that helped me uh, gain a better stance and focus on what I was dealing with. At the time, I was dealing with a bereavement. I had lost my mom. Uh, and I was going through some issues of how to deal with it. More importantly, not how to let go, but how to accept it. Uh, from that, we've formed a uh, wonderful relationship, and you've helped wonderful people that I've definitely referred your way to help them find their path and things like that. So let's talk about that emotional stress that you was discussing. Um how does the emotional stress, I mean, because a lot of people deal with anxiety, and I think that's probably the most thing that, my listeners will want to listen to and hear about is that emotional anxiety when they're trying to do something or more importantly, um, those stresses that they're dealing with. How does that manifest in their body? If you don't mind giving us a little brief synopsis. Yeah, absolutely. So what I found is that our body, our bodies are designed to thrive. They're designed to heal themselves. But just like a car engine, when you have too much slug, in the engine, it slows down. And it's the same way with the body. When we don't deal with our emotional stress or the emotional traumas that we go through and we kind of put it in the back and forget about it and keep moving and, you know, if you've ever heard the saying, you know, like, shut your mouth and keep moving. That type of thing. When we don't address the emotional part, it's like buildup in our body and things, literally, it manifests physically. So whether it's heart troubles or you have a shoulder pain and I just take a different approach than most people because I look at the emotional, what is the root? And there's a couple major root wounds that I found as I have worked through this process of developing my ability and just looking at what you're holding on to and our bodies are living and breathing, not just because we have a soul in them, but what if they are their own entities? And so I basically tune into the body and work with the body's energy about what it's holding on to. I'm the person that works in the middle and then starts working with the emotional to move through and to let go. And I find the easiest way. So I'm basically like a radio. I tune in and then I spit everything out of what I get. 
Okay, okay, because I know for me, and I'm going to use myself as an example, as all my viewers definitely know, is that whenever I'm stressing, and, and, and we all go through this, we all go through stressful situations in our in our life, whether we're talking, I think the main thing, and I know John will agree with me, the main thing that we discuss and we talk about is usually our finances, um, usually other things that are dealing with our relationships that we're dealing with, our significant others, spouses, things like that. People that has gotten inside of our energy field, if I like to say, uh, because they're the most closest to us. So they are more apt to give us some type of stress and my stress. And I'm just using myself, John, if that's OK, for example, um, it usually comes in between my shoulder blades. And I know. Um, you work with people on a holistic level on helping them clear those energy levels so that they can, you know, uh, number one, heal themselves and then more importantly, uh, relieve some of that stress, correct? Absolutely. So it's just about about really dealing with it. So since we're using you, if it's okay, <laughs> yes. when, when you have stress in your relationship, it's surface. And so I don't, I don't want to deal with surface. Um, I want to go to the root of it because the root is where when you heal the root, the surface dissipates. Okay. So when you really dive in and if it's, like you said, your shoulders, you have stress with your shoulders, right? Yes. Stress but when you look at the ways. anatomy of the body, it's right below your neck, which um, is your throat chakra and then right above your heart chakra and it's right in the middle. So relationship wise, if it manifests, I would look and say, okay, you know, it feels like you're not speaking your truth about a certain matter and it feels like you're trying to find a place of love to come from, but you're not really sure. So that would be the surface, but to dive in, I would be like, where's your self-worth in this? And then is it truly your belief or is it a belief that's been passed on? Because incoherently we can have things passed on from our parents, our beliefs, because a belief is only a thought that you've thought long enough that you actually believe it. And I look and see if the thought really, or the, the belief, if the belief serves you at your highest good and if you're holding on to it and if there's emotional attachment to that. So if I work with people that, their parents have passed on and they believe this to be true. And they're like, well, I know it's not. And you're like, okay, well, when you start working with it and then come to find out if they, they feel like if they let it go, that they're letting go a part of the deceased, the loved one that's deceased. So just finding and navigating to help you get to your highest potential or to let go of the emotional trauma or to find who you really are, you know, there's a lot of people that come and have sessions with me and they feel lost Okay. and, and they don't know how to navigate, or it's not that they don't know how, it's like they're lost and they just need help and guidance. But the truth of it is, is that they've got to let go of everybody else's baggage. And so that's where I come in. I, I come in in a very innovative way and work with the body, the body's energy, and then the emotional aspect that ties all three together. Okay, so definitely, yes. Um, I can definitely be in a testament to that because John has worked with the numerous of people. Um, she's worked on a higher level, on a national level. Um, I, tell me about a little bit of your experience about helping helping the FBI, I think. That's what we talked about earlier. Yes. Um, oh my gosh. When I first got started, um, a couple years ago, I don't, I can't even give you an exact date at this point anymore. Um, I got involved in a highly publicized missing kids case. Okay. And I was, and I was in Atlanta and I flew into Texas and, um, I aided in that and they eventually ended up finding her remains. Wow. And so that, that was, um, it was my first case to ever work and it definitely was not my last and will not be my last. Um, it was just a really great experience, but taking the intuitive aspect of the body and just looking at what's going on and reading the energy and working with it, 
Um, I take the same principles that I do my missing kid cases with and apply it to the body as well. And just working with what's there. So meeting my clients right where they're at versus making them come to where I am. Okay. So on an energetic level, you're able to connect. And I know from experience of working with you and dealing with me and, and my emotional trauma that I had and having to release some of the things that I was dealing with, man, I have to tell you, um, stretch yourself viewers, those who are listening and those who want to chime in later on, uh, that it was definitely was an experience. Um, she emotionally connected with me. Um, I had tears in my eyes at that point, uh, where I felt like I had to release. Um, and it was a process. Um, I can definitely say that she is a true form of it. Uh, and I can give the perfect example. Um, man, we was doing a session and, you know, when you contact with people and they tell you that they're intuitive, you know, one of the first things that people are thinking about is, oh man, really? Yeah, okay, I've heard that all before. Um, but I can definitely attest to it that she is the real deal because I was sitting in my office when she contacted me and she had told me, look, just close your eyes and relax and, and, and get into the moment. So. I, I usually, I put my feet up on my desk and I leaned back and, and I didn't take too much of it. And she came over the phone and she was like, Ron, I need you to sit up straight, put your feet down, uh, get into a nice posture and I need you to close your eyes and relax. <clears throat> that was an eye opener for me. Uh, more importantly, how the way she received messages um, from my mother um, who had transitioned was just an eye opener because she said things to me that only my mom knew, uh, which was something that was uh, connected us and made this um, relationship that we are having. And I'm sharing with you guys to stretch yourself community here today. So um, John, enough about me, more about you. What is one thing that you want Everyone here that's going to be listening, going to be downloading this, probably going to be connecting with you right after this podcast is published. What do you want them to know about you? Oh, that's a, you know, that's a great question. Um, there's so much I want everybody to know about me. Um, but I think the answer to that is that, ooh, um, you know, one is don't be afraid. Okay. If there's something bothering you or you feel like you're holding on to something or you feel like you're trapped or you just need help, like definitely reach out. Um, and if I feel like I'm not the right person to work with you, I definitely have an amazing squad on my side that I can refer you to. Um, and just, you know, just come like it, it is a, I don't want to say it's a life-changing experience because I think it is for me every time that I work on someone, but, you know, just come because there's something that you can get out of it or that in the bigger picture, even reaching out is an action towards your goal. And I just want to help empower you to get to where you want to be. Okay, great. So what I'm getting from here is you want people to just be open. There's a lot of different ideologies out there, ladies and gentlemen, and I can definitely tell you that uh, we reach for that does not bring results that you would want to have in your life and you still feel like you're searching. Um, being open is probably one of the most important things that you have, but more importantly, uh, taking action like Jonna said. Take action and just see. Uh, like it says in the Bible, you got to have an open mind and think and act like a child. Uh, when a child looks at something, they always look at something with open eyes for the first time. And definitely, this is something that you want to just be clear on your mind and knowing what you want and making sure that when you approach her, you definitely know what you want and what the outcome that you want to be. And just be open and as candid as possible. Jonna is a very pure spirit. She's a very pure soul. And it is a life-changing experience. If she's not going to tell you, it made a life-changing experience for me. So Jonna, what if I don't live where you do? I know you live in Texas. I know we've talked about each other and, and, and I lived in Atlanta and then you, you came here when I had a great opportunity to meet you in person, which was awesome. Um, what if I don't live where you are? Which may be some of the questions that some people may have. What can I do to connect with you? Oh my gosh. I'm a phone call away or Skype. Um, and it's really easy. I don't do any hands-on treatment like your typical Reiki or acupuncture or quantum touch or depending whatever venue or genre that you're into. 
I have these amazing gifts that I have the ability to read no matter where you are. I have the ability to look and work with the energy, move the energy, and move forward. So if you do not live in my town, that is absolutely okay. It is a a phone call away, sorry. And 99% of my clients are over the phone. And it's so foreign to me now because when I have someone in front of me, I'm like, oh, well, I don't know what this is supposed to look like because I'm so (laughs) used to working over the phone. Wow. Okay. So how does it work? I probably That's probably the main question that all the listeners will probably want to know and they're curious about um, before doing that prop or they want to do that complimentary session with you or even just talking with you. How does everything work? Oh, man. If I, if I knew the answer to that, I would, be, I would be a rock star. My take on it is I take the same intuitive aspect like I said, when I worked on the missing kid case and I apply it to the body. And when I started this journey, I really took my mind out of a box. Um, And what I mean by that is I didn't put limits on me or my abilities because I didn't know what I was doing. And over the course of almost 10 years, I have really honed in on where I'm at now. And I just tune into the body. It's, It's a frequency. And having the intuitive aspect of it, being able to look and your body literally will show me what's going on or I can feel into a situation and say, okay, this is what it feels like. And then it just goes back to those, I have amazing gifts and this is what I'm choosing to use them for and to work with during this lifetime. Um, And I have the ability to move energy in the body without touching. And I think that's, what makes it so unique is because you don't have to relive the past. Your body will show me exactly what you're holding on to, and I can literally get you to that point and then clear it very quickly and then keep it moving. Um, and this has been true with quite a few of the soldiers that I've worked with and women that have had domestic violence. Just working through the traumatic aspects and being able to let it go without having to go all the way in and relive the story. And it just gives a safe, quick outlet. Wow. Wow, that is totally interesting. And I I know every time that I sit there and I speak with you, I really enjoy our conversations. And I love when you help me clear through some things that I'm going through. So tell me currently, what are you doing now? Who are you helping and who are you reaching out and touching with? Oh, okay. So that's a great question. Um, you know, I would love, no, that's that's such a lie. Um, I wouldn't love to tell you who, however, um, I, I keep everything, um, private. Okay. Um, I don't, I don't talk about who I work with, okay. who I don't work with. And part of that is, you know, I have the ability to tap into people's most okay. intimate and private parts. And I, I just naturally don't share that with anyone. And the great thing about what I do is when I work, um, I'm so present and so focused that whatever comes across, whatever comes out of our sessions, it's truly meant for you because 99% of the time I don't remember it. Okay. And you were re-talking or recanting about the conversation about how we met and me working on you. I started chuckling because I have a, a vague memory, but I don't remember exact details, which is so awesome. Okay. Because I, I know, I, th- I think I recall you saying that you work with some soldiers with post-traumatic stress disorder. I just wanted to know what type of organizations oh, you've general. worked with. I'm and, sorry. And those things. Not- I know definitely that your, your sessions are definitely confidential, as all coaching <laughs> sessions are. <laughs> but um, I know you're definitely working with some, some groups and some organizations, and you're helping them work through some traumatic yes. experiences. So would you like to share those? <laughs> yes. I'm sorry. That is my analytical brain. Um, yeah. I mean, I work with vets, I work with athletes, pro athletes, semi pro athletes, and my next door neighbor. You know, it it doesn't matter. You your title doesn't define you and I work with everyone mm. that wants to do something better in their life. So it's not as specific. Okay. And 
each session is custom tailored for the client. It's not a cookie cutter, this is what I do, this is what, mm -mm. no, it, it's custom tailored for them. Great, great. I, I really love that you're working with veterans like myself, uh, you know, because a lot of us that came back from Desert Shield, Desert Storm, and, you know, currently in the military now, they are dealing with some, you know, post-stress, traumatic stress disorder, and, and it, it's a, something that's weighed heavily. It's something that I think us as Americans, as a people, we haven't addressed fully that that type of traumatic uh, emotional trauma that people are dealing with. So I'm glad that you are that conduit to help others um, to re not relive it, but help them work through it. So that is a great thing that I do. And I, I definitely applaud you on that, Jonna. Oh, thanks. Um, me and my, speaking of this, me and my husband went and watched the movie. Thank you for your service. And vets have always had that special place in my heart. But after watching it, um, I, it has stirred something in me and me and my husband, my husband is actually a veteran as well. And um, we're working on a project, which I can't talk about it, but it's going to be awesome. And I'm so excited. So, um, I can't wait to, to announce all of it that's coming out with that, but it, it's phenomenal. And, you know, and not just with that, but there's a lot of things that I have in the works. Um, but I think one of the ones that are, closest to my heart other than the soldiers is women that have been in abusive relationships and I know that you know about my past but um my husband was my ex-husband was very very abusive um and abusive to our son and working through all of that it gives me a different perspective so I'm not it's not just like you're talking to somebody that hasn't had any life experiences if that makes sense. Yes, it definitely does make sense. So, Jonna, one last question before we get ready to close this interview. Where can people find you and how will they be able to connect with you? Again, socially, if you go out there and you just plug in, uh, you definitely can see her um, on her webpage and on uh, Facebook at Jonna um, Partain. Um, where can they find you? You know, that's a great question. Like you said, so johnnapartain.com, and it's J-O-H-N-N-A-P-A-R-T-A-I-N.com. Uh, Facebook is a great way to get a hold of me. It's um, Jonna Partain Hubbard um, on Facebook, or you can look up Finding Ground Healing. That's the name of my company. Or give me a shout. Um, my number is 325-800-9820, and that actually goes to my personal cell phone, so... Yes. Okay, guys. Hey, listen, um, John, I definitely, I want to thank you for being on the show. Uh, again, uh, Stretch Yourself Community, if you want to connect with her, again, FindingGroundHealing.com, or you can catch her socially anywhere on the internet if you look up her name, Jonna Partain, and I definitely will have the details of how to connect with her in the podcast details when this is published again thanks jonna for allowing oh, me you. to have that opportunity to interview you and guys hey thanks for listening to the stretch yourself empowerment podcast there are thousands of thousands of podcasts out there and i want to personally thank you for choosing my podcast to help you build a better relationship in business and in life. To download more interviews like this, subscribe to the channel, subscribe to the paid channel version where you get inside information not available on these interviews but in detail. It is available on iTunes for download and connect with me as always socially, keyword stretch yourself. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening to Stretch Yourself, the empowerment podcast. To download this or listen to more episodes like this one, please subscribe to the channel or connect with me socially, keyword stretch yourself. Other episodes will be available for you on iTunes for download. If you want to be a part of the show, you can connect with me at events at stretchyourself.org. I look forward to connecting with you.